If you're thinking about entertaining this derby season, you might want to focus on some classic Kentucky dishes. And if you don't know any, don't worry. The folks at Cooking at the Cottage can help you out with this one. Sam Carter is there live this morning. Sam, what you cooking? Well, we got some chicken on the griddle right now. But if you ask my guest, she's Janine, henceforth known as the Flavor Queen, the secrets are in the sauce. Janine, thank you so much for getting up with us. I appreciate that. Oh, you're that. welcome. Janine, we're adding some sauce to the, we're adding some elements anyway to yes. this bowl. Tell me what we're adding, because this is stuff like what you can teach people to do on April 24th when you do a class here at uh, at at, the, at uh, cooking, cooking with the cottage. Yes. Uh, stutter sometimes. <laughs> uh, so talk to me about what we got going on in this bowl. All right. There's so much history to Derby, and sometimes... Sure. 150 um, years of it. Yeah. Indeed. And indeed, there is a culinary angle to it as well. This happens to be Henry Bain's sauce. Okay. And Henry Bain's sauce is linked with the Pendennis Club, which, you know, is just rich in history yeah. as well. So back in the day, these men would come in to the Pendennis Club, and they would actually bring their hunt with them. Them, like their venison and they would tell the chef hey cook this up for me and my you know my buddies back here and so the chef post came taste. up <laughs> post taste <laughs> and so the the chef came up with this sauce and it's actually a mix of several sauces and quite english in nature you know chili sauce uh, uh mango chutney sure. um a worcestershire little heat, a little sweet. Yeah. yeah worcestershire sauce and uh, so, you know, just as we make sauces at home by mixing a bunch of different things, the chef in the back, he did the same thing. And so, uh, yeah, there's Worcestershire and there was steak sauce. And then we come in with That's a hearty with this. sauce. Oh, it is. It's very hearty for game, for beef, you know, that sort of thing. It's perfect. But if we play up more of the chutney angle, sure. chutney has ginger, the sweetness of it. Yeah, yes, sure. ginger and actual mango pieces in it, then it becomes perfect for chicken. And um, when you think about mangoes and, and ginger and so forth, we might think about Indian cuisine. Yeah. So if we take this sauce and combine it like this, we end up with a sauce that looks like this. Look which that. is the magic of television. Look at how smooth yeah, that is. That's really it nice. is. It has a few chunks of mango in it. And then what we can do is skewer some chicken that has marinated overnight in the... Uh, sauce. Indeed. And then we have the other sauce on the side, but we are going to make an Indian raita, which is sour cream and um, grated cucumber to cool down the oh, spiciness very of cool. this. So we're going to totally play into the whole, um, you know, into the whole Indian angle. And this, for this is kind of that kind of classic cuisine that you love that you're going to yes. teach people to do right here at Cooking at the Cottage. Yes. Um, that is the 24th of mm -hmm. April, about 10 days before right. Derby, give or take. Um, and this is all stuff people can learn. And the the thing that holds a lot of people back from kind of cooking themselves is that learning curve. You kind of take people through it step by step, just like we did now, right? Absolutely. My classes are demonstration classes. So if you feel a little bit, you know, shy or unsure of yourself, you can come up and watch me, you know, put things together. Or if I'm using a particular piece of equipment that you're not familiar with, you can come stand at this, you know, beautiful, uh, island and you can actually watch me maybe take some pictures you know that sort of thing and just gain that confidence um, watching me and believe me like any home cook I mess up too and then we have big laughs and there's stories and laughing and tasting I it's love great it. fun. I love it you don't have to ride a horse to win derby you can win it at home with what you're cooking we got a whole lot more coming up in the next half hour don't go anywhere I'm just gonna dip that real quick sure we will be back all morning with Ooh. a lot more with the Flavor Queen Janine here at Cooking at the Cottage. Yummy, Matt. We love a good derby menu, lunch, I mean, brunch, whatever it is. The countdown is derby. on. We're about to push into April.